Billy Butcher's plans crumbled in before of his eyes in last week's episode of The Boys, the weapon the boys spent the whole of season 3 seeking for. BCL Red turned out to be a hoax. Soldier Boy was not killed as they had been informed, and in reality, Soldier Boy is still alive. Soldier Boy assaulted our team after the boys discovered him in a top-secret Russian facility, critically injuring Kimiko. Kimiko is found asleep in a hospital bed, still healing from her wounds but stable with Frenchie unwilling to leave her side at the start of this episode. Butcher, Mother's Milk, and Huey debrief from the Russian S show in the meanwhile, to say the least. MM is enraged that Butcher and Huey hijacked V24 and turned it into the very thing they're attempting to stop. The whole idea of what we do, MM tells Butcher, is that no one should have that authority. Back at Vought Tower, we discover firsthand why such power is so damaging, as Homelander tightens his grip on Vought Industries. He forced FBSA director Newman to betray Vought CEO Stan Edgar last week resulting in the CEO job being vacated. And who better to step into Edgar's shoes than Ashley, Homelander's weak and fawning puppet who will go to any length to escape Homelander's anger and maintain her job. On the 99th floor, we get a funny scene with Homelander's brand new Vought board, who appear to have been handpicked for their remarkable capacity to, well, kiss his arse. Despite the fact that Ashley is the CEO, Homelander is clearly in command. Homelander, on the other hand, is used to corporate gamesmanship and is instantly overwhelmed when he hears the word IBITA. We've figured out Homelander's kryptonite. Arithmetic, Starlight, who was in charge of the planned Homelander revolution, is particularly concerned by this turn of events. And, as if the upheaval at Vought wasn't bad enough, Huey's indulgence in V24 has knocked Starlight off her feet. Huey, on the other hand, reassures her by promising that he's kicked the V. Not that they have any more of it, either, except they do. Because Queen Maeve pays Butcher a visit and gives him another batch of V24. Maeve, who has been clean for several months, decides to take a break off the wagon and swallow a bottle of vodka with Butcher to alleviate her suffering. What begins as a tender encounter between two damaged people quickly devolves into a savage sex scene, with Maeve and Butcher following their impulses and going for it. Hashtag Queen Butcher. They make an unexpectedly lovely couple. It's something I'm all for. Frenchie receives an unexpected guest at Kamiko's hospital. Russian criminal boss Little Nina. Her enterprise has suffered a significant setback as a result of the boy's devastation in Russia. It's up to Frenchie to pay back the money. She needs him to kill a Russian guy and his little daughter for her. Frenchie fights back. But Nina is unyielding, leaving Frenchie with a difficult decision. His moods are swiftly brightened, however, when he goes to Kamiko's bedside and discovers that she is awake. She's speaking for the first time in the series. The boys' writers are known for their musical sequences, but this time they've excelled themselves by giving Kamiko and Frenchie a full-on song and dance performance of George Gershwin's I've Got Rhythm as a stunning statement of Kamiko's reclaiming her voice. But there is a price to pay for this gift because Kamiko has lost her superhuman abilities. How? Soldier Boy's explosive blast made her impotent, according to the working theory. Is this the Homelander killing weapon they've been hunting for the entire season? Soldier Boy, speaking of Soldier Boy, has returned to New York, and his arrival is anything but quiet. Soldier Boy was going across Manhattan when he was halted in his tracks by a radio playing Russian music. The music conjures up painful memories of his confinement in Russia, and he swiftly loses control erupting in a burst of energy from his chest that destroys an entire city block. Meanwhile, a train uses his betrayal of Supersonic to meet up with Blue Hawk, the racist tyrant terrorizing Newark's black neighborhood. A train demands that Blue Hawk apologize, and Blue Hawk agrees. Kind of. What begins as a sad, rehearsed me culpa to a group of black folks. Train suddenly devolves into a fist fight, with Blue Hawk hitting the individuals to whom he's meant to apologize. In the process, a brother trains is paralyzed. Back with the boys, Butcher and M.M. take Huey to meet the legend, a former Vought employee who can provide information on Soldier Boy's location. He informs them where to find Soldier Boy after a wonderfully cringeworthy scene in the legend's man cave. He's going after his ex-flame Crimson Countess. The boys kidnap Crimson Countess and use her as bait to draw Soldier Boy in the episode's climactic act. They're not alone on this expedition, though, as M.M. has called in Starlight for help. That's terrible news for Huey, because he's already broken his vow to her by taking another V24 dose. Huey is confronted with a difficult decision when Soldier Boy murders Crimson Countess and establishes a contract with Butcher and the boys to take down Homelander. Starlight begs him to leave the boys behind and return to the light. Huey, on the other hand, is too preoccupied with his power trip to pay attention. He abandons Starlight, leaving her devastated and more alone than she has ever been. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.